I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm currently, it's 9.09 .09 right now. I'm about to go into F45. I decided to go. Comment down below if you yawned just then as well. I decided to go a little bit later this morning just because, I don't know, I didn't necessarily need to go at 7 a.m. So I was just like, I'm just gonna go at nine. I've woken up feeling a bit like unmotivated and sad. <laughs> it's probably because I'm hormonal. I don't know, I just feel a bit like blah. I was the only one home last night. Like my mom and dad are away at the moment on holiday and my brother wasn't home. So I just feel a bit like sad. I don't know, unmotivated to do things, which I get, I feel like this every now and then. I and mean, it's very normal. I know it's going to pass. It's just annoying because I don't like feeling this way. On the agenda today, I forced myself to go to F45 because I know this will make me feel better. And then I'm probably just going to upload and finish doing last week's weekly vlog, which you guys would have, of course, already seen by now. My mum just texted me. She was like, how is everything going? But yeah, I'm going to go into F45 and I'll see you guys after. Okay, so I just got done at F45 and I just had to run into Woolies really quickly just to grab a few things. That session was so hard and of course the one time that I didn't charge my Apple Watch was probably the time that I like worked the hardest. I'm probably gonna have like a productive day today but I'm not gonna go too extreme where I'm just like go 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 and absolutely exhausted because I kind of was like about last week. I'm gonna see you at home because there are people everywhere. All right so it's a little bit late now and I thought I would do a quick little nasty gal haul because I really liked how I did it in my what I eat in a day video the other month. Of the week. I'm not sure when I uploaded it. So I've got a bunch of clothes to show you. So we're going to do it vlog style. And I'm just going to show you in the mirror. I'm tempted to move my mirror so there's better lighting. Unfortunately, I've left this until almost 3 p.m. So the lighting is not the greatest, but that's fine. Thank you so much to Nasty Gal for sponsoring this video. If you want to save 60% off Nasty Gal, the Australian and the New Zealand website, you can use the code Connor60 and you get 60% off. Crazy. I will do my best to list everything in the description box down below, along with my sizing and all that jazz. I'm usually a size six to eight up top and probably a size six to eight on the bottoms now. And I'm five feet tall. So if it's short on me, probably gonna be short on you too. We've got quite a lot of things here and I'm super excited. I really love everything that I got. Okay, to start off, we've got this little white crop. I got a maroon version of this in my last Nasty Gal haul that I did. I love these. They're a little bit longer than other crops that I have, um, but I love these. They're just so easy to put on. They look really good with track pants. They can be a little bit see-through, but if you just wear like a little lacy bralette underneath, you're pretty much fine. These are really easy to have. They look really cute with jeans or yeah, like sweatpants. So I picked this one up this is in a size eight yeah it's like that super stretchy comfortable material so and then this is a bit different it's well it's not different i probably should change into some cuter pants this is like a little cardigan and it's got like little diamante looking um buttons which is really cute i think this would be really nice to wear with some jeans when it's a little bit chilly outside which i'll put some jeans on in a second so you can see what they look like okay so this is the first pair of jeans they're kind of like a traditional mum style they're not too high-waisted but they're like a pretty good length I would describe them as maybe like a straight leg. Like they're not super oversized, but they're not um, really tight either. I really love the wash of these. I feel like it gives them like a more vintagey vibe. This outfit looks really cute together. Super cash. I don't really own a pair like this. They're a little bit big on the waist, but that's pretty standard when it comes to mum jeans. Then we have this little white crop. I don't know where my nipple covers are so this is just me trying to like cover up the top but it's like a little one shoulder moment. It is a bit see-through so you'll definitely need to wear um like some sort of nipple cover underneath or a bra but I love white and denim together just looks so cute and I love a good one shoulder moment. I feel like they're very flattering. That's what it looks like from the back. I feel like one shoulder pieces just make it look instantly more dressy without actually doing anything. Okay, I think this is definitely my favorite top out of everything. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so cute. So this is one of those like those, those um, corset type of tops, but it doesn't have like any boning in it. It's just like a really thick fabric, which I like. This with some jeans, like this together looks really, really cute. It's got like the off the shoulder. These aren't actually too tight. Um, I was worried that they might be a little bit too restricting and I don't, I don't have the skinniest of arms. So I feel like they're pretty good. I feel like if you are in the summertime right now, this would be such a pretty top. I feel like off the shoulder tops are just so elegant and classy. I would still wear this 
in winter because it doesn't get that cold. Love this. I'm not wearing a bra with it right now. And I feel like it's pretty supportive. Like the way it's structured is really, really good. It's a nice thick material and it's not see-through. So, okay. Also really, really love this. This is a little bodysuit and it's in a really, really comfortable cotton material. They had this on like the new arrivals page when I was looking. They had it in like a long sleeve turtleneck, which I was close to getting, but I feel like I'd get more wear out of like a singlet. I love the colors of it. And yeah, it's really, really comfy. It doesn't have adjustable straps, but I feel like because it is in that cotton fabric it's pretty comfortable so i love this i'm a huge fan of like animal print it looks really dressy even though it is in that like cotton fabric i feel like it's not see-through i don't think it's see-through this would look cute with a pair of black jeans i reckon as well or like a little black skirt and then we also have this like plain neutral toned tee super basic it's really really long like if i hold on i could wear this 100 percent as a t-shirt dress which i don't know why i'm wearing jeans actually i love these type of like boxy like boyfriend style shirts and i don't have one in like a neutral tone i pretty much live in these in the summer times and the cut of it's like perfect for me it's not too oversized because i am a small person um so that's what it looks like as a t-shirt dress and you could totally wear a belt with it as well this and just like some sneakers it's definitely a vibe. I love a good t-shirt dress. Super comfortable as well. So that's the color in like natural lighting. It's like a very true oatmeal color. And then the next one. <laughs> so I, for a long time, didn't want to have any color in my wardrobe. I literally got rid of at one point everything that was colorful. And then I feel like I'm slowly getting over that, as you can see with this next piece. Now this is massive. It's probably like a little bit too oversized, but I probably can like shrink it in the wash on purpose, but I kind of love it at the same time. It's like a t-shirt dress. As you can see, it's massive, but I am five feet tall, so it's probably not that bad on other people. I don't know what it is about this, but I love the color. I love how it's kind of like a faded um, vintage shirt. It says mission with a, on it with a tiger. So it's like super baggy, like the sleeves are massive. I think I can also like tie it up and make it more of a top, like a super oversized top. I still feel like that would look cool, but yeah, just super comfortable. Okay, and then next up, we've got some plain black jeans. I have a similar pair of these from Nasty Gal. These are a little bit more straight leg. It's probably hard to show you against the carpet, but they're like more of a fitted jean and they're kind of like a faded black wash. And I think I like these. You'll have to, I'm not used to wearing this type of cut or fit. I feel like they're a nice dressy pair of jeans. These are in a size eight and they fit really, really nicely. The mess that I'm creating right now is not okay. Usually I try to hang everything back up, but not today, not today. <laughs> I'll have to show you this like not paired with this cause it's not exactly doesn't go, but I got this little cardigan because I don't own a cardigan like this. I own sweatshirts, jumpers, but nothing like this with buttons. And I feel like this is just the perfect one. It's like a nice, almost balloon um fit i think this would be so good to have to just chuck on with literally anything okay that's better so yeah i would wear this outfit together so this would be perfect to chuck on when i when it's a little bit chilly outside i can wear this to the supermarket i can wear this to dinner it's a really good knit as well like it's not super scratchy and doesn't feel really cheap which i like and the color of it also will go with so many outfits because it's that neutral off-white color love a good cardi cardigan cardi <laughs> Hello, it's me from the future. I accidentally forgot to show you one piece because it was in the wash because I've been wearing it probably the most out of everything. It is this little green sweatshirt. I'm obsessed with this color at the moment. I've said it a million times. I feel like it makes my eyes look green when I wear green. This one's not too oversized. It's probably in like a size small. It's nice to put on when you don't want something that's like too oversized when you want to actually buy your size. I'm pretty sure I have this in gray, but it's in a much bigger size. I love wearing this at the moment. It's my go-to hoodie. I feel like it is a little bit different because it's green maybe since a lot of my clothes that I do have are quite neutral but yeah it's super comfy it's not too thick it's kind of perfect for being in Brisbane when it's cold but not really cold so yeah I love this I've been living in it lately um that's why I forgot about it yesterday because it was in the wash so yeah accidentally forgot to show you this but I'm showing it to you now this and denim like blue denim and gray looks really good together just as an FYI okay let's go back to the old me and then for the final piece of clothing we've got this little cream colored cropped 
jacket. I really love this. I love a cropped denim jacket because sometimes I don't want to wear something super oversized. It's kind of like frayed on the edges and then it has um, tortoiseshell buttons on the sun's slowly starting to set. Good to throw over when you don't want to wear a blue denim jacket. It's kind of got like darker stitching on it, which I really like because it's not the same color of denim. I feel like you can get away with it because I personally I don't know, I feel like I can't pull off denim on denim, so. And then last but not least, lastly, we have these little white boots. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with them. Like this is such a vibe, even like just this t-shirt dress and the white boots, how cute. These are like the perfect height. So I could wear these for like literally all day and I'd be fine. And they kind of have that croc print design. My carpet's filthy. And then they've got the zipper on the inside with like a tan color sole, I guess. I have mine in a size six. I probably could go up to size seven if I wanted to. I love wide boots. There's something about them that I just think is so like cool and different. But yeah, that's cute, isn't it? That's a bit of a vibe. So simple, but it just, it works. Okay, so that's everything that I have to show you guys in my little nasty gal haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I thought there was a bug on my microphone. Everything will be listed in the description box down below as always. And don't forget, you can use my code Connor60 for 60% off. Nasty gal, Australia and New Zealand. But right now, oh my God, I thought someone was at my window. But I'll talk to you guys soon. It is now almost five o'clock. So my weekly vlog is about to go live. I think I'm home alone. My brother might be home, I'm not sure, but I am so tired today. And I think it's because I had a really bad sleep last night. Usually when I post my weekly vlog, I'll then post like a promo on Instagram. So you guys know it's live and then respond to some comments and stuff. And then I'll start making my dinner. I think I'm gonna have salmon for dinner tonight just cause we've got it. I love salmon. It's probably my favorite fish, but it can get a bit, if you eat it too many times in a row, you get sick of it. Whereas white fish, not so much. Well, I'm gonna feed all the animals. I'm gonna try and stop yawning. <laughs>
never done one of those before for some ingredients because I want to make a video um, making like healthy desserts so I'm excited so I've ordered some stuff on there so I just thought I'd give it a go I don't know how to do it though I'm assuming they'll send me a text or something but and then yeah I think I'm just gonna get some Instagram photos and just try and be productive but starting off on a good note and the weather's really nice today so I think that's making me feel a bit more positive anyway I'll probably see you guys I don't know when actually Kiara look at me what's wrong baby why are you sad? Why are you so sad? Do you want a friend? Okay, grocery haul. This is everything that I got for the treats that I'm gonna make eventually. Uh -huh. May seem super random. So we got some egg whites, carrots, Greek yogurt, um, baking powder, some cacao powder, sugar-free maple, I love this one, coconut flour, shredded coconut, vanilla essence, cinnamon, eggs, coconut oil, and then I got a big thing. It was on sale, plus I drink this throughout the day, multiple times a day, so I thought I'd get the big one. So yeah, I'm gonna put this away, and then I'm gonna have a shower, wash my hair, and get ready, and then I'm gonna have my first meal, um, because I haven't been like fasting properly for the past couple days, so I just wanna do it. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. It is 11.44 a.m. Um, I've just been doing some work basically today. I haven't gone to F45 this morning. I was contemplating, but sometimes when I wanna be more productive, I find that it's easier to do gym in the afternoon. So I just finished editing the Nasty Gal segment that you just watched. This is like tripping me out. So I'm exporting that so I can send it away for approval since that is a sponsored portion of this video. And then now I'm gonna do some Instagram stories for Nasty Gal. So I'll show you the behind the scenes, I think of that as well. Cause I feel like that'll be quite fun. I did it probably in like one of my first weekly vlogs. For breakfast this morning, I had like a cauliflower rice just because I felt like making something different and it was really good. It was, I just made it like fried rice, but with cauliflower. And I was quite impressed with myself. So I'm gonna pop on some makeup so I can get those stories done. My mum and dad come home today as well. So I'll be able to, I think I'm gonna go to co go get coffee with my mum. And is that exported? I think so. Guys, I just realized I forgot to show you how I film my Instagram stories. I've literally just sat down after I've done it and I've seen my camera and gone, oh sh I'm so sorry. I'll show you how I do it though. Damn it, I can't believe I forgot. Whoopsie. I usually will film them in my room or upstairs, wherever I feel like is the best lighting. And I put my tripod by a window. And I've said this before, but this is a little like phone piece. Hang on, the light's a bit weird. These are all the clothes that I was just trying on. And it just hooks onto my tripod for my phone. I will set my phone like so. I hope that doesn't fall down. And then I stand here and record the stories. So yeah, I just showed the Nasty Gal outfits on my story. So I've saved them so then I can make them go live on Monday. When you're watching this right now, this is how it all works. Wow, behind the scenes. So cool. My mom and I might go get a coffee. I'm not sure, but I need to edit those stories. Wow, it's one o'clock. Feels like 9 a.m. <laughs> Now 4.27. I'm not gonna go to F45 today. My back's quite sore. Um, and I think it's a combination of like sitting badly while I'm editing, I don't, I don't know. Just been trying to fill out some house forms. Just trying to get the financial side of it organized, which is really stressing me out. I've got my dad to help me, so that's good. I'm just kind of like, ah, oh, especially since I need to do my um, tax since it's the 2nd of July now. So my bookkeeper is going to come on Monday to help me with that. I just can't wait till all this is out of the way and then the fun part can begin. I would go to the gym, but I just don't want to hurt myself and then not be able to go for a long time. So I think for the rest of the night, um, I've got my night routine going up today in half an hour. But I think I'm just going to kind of chill out for the rest of the night. Wow. Why does this not want to load? Bloody hell.
morning guys happy friday it's currently 8 to 12 a.m i haven't been waking up super early this week i'll be on a roll for so long like waking up super early and then i'll have a week where i'm just like you know i'm just gonna sleep until like 7 7 30. i really want to go to f45 today i've only been twice this week i didn't go yesterday because my back was quite sore i don't think i've injured it like i definitely know the difference between injuring my back i think it's just sore from honestly like Um, I think it's sore from like editing. I don't know if I need some sort of like extra support while editing. I'm excited because I figured out how to use this really cool tripod from Sony. It's then, it's, I don't know if it's new new, but it's kind of new. It's like a Bluetooth shooting tripod. So I can like press record, take a photo and zoom in, zoom out from, like if I zoom in from my remote, ready? How cool is that? I uploaded my nighttime routine last night. So I'm just checking all that jazz out. And then for today, actually, you know what I need to do? I need to get my house stuff sorted. As I was saying yesterday. Shut up. I don't like this. I just got done at the gym. It's let me end my workout. I feel really good. My back didn't hurt at all. So that's good. We did 309 total calories, 257 active. I'm really sweaty, so I'm probably going to have to wash my hair. I try not to wash my hair too often, but I feel like sometimes you just gotta. I'll see you guys at home. Okay, so it's now just after 6 p.m. And in Queensland, in mo I think most states in Australia except Victoria, they've eased a lot of the restrictions. So we're actually able to go out to like the bar and have a drink. I think we're allowed 100 people in this space. I'm not exactly sure though. So last minute thing, we're all, we're just gonna go out with the girls, have a drink. I'm excited. I'll show you what I'm wearing. I've got on my little green top, my jeans. These are the ones that I wore last weekend. Um, and then same roots as last weekend from Nasty Gal. And then I curled my hair in like record time because this was like a very last minute thing. And then I've just recycled my makeup from today. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Happy Sunday. I didn't vlog yesterday. I did, but it wasn't very good. So I just scrapped it. It is currently 7.44 a.m. Sunday morning. Got my coffee. It is particularly cold this morning where I am. It's nine degrees right now. Feels like eight. Mm, it's going to be raining next week. Today, I'm probably gonna try and get the weekly vlog finished and uploaded, ready to go for tomorrow. I think I might wanna go for a walk this morning, we'll see. I really wanna get myself set up for next week. Just cause, not that this week was bad, but obviously at the beginning of the week you saw I was like struggling to get motivated and stuff. So I think I just wanna be ready to go, have things organized, maybe do some cleaning, like wash my sheets or something, we'll see. I just love the mornings so much. Like you just feel so positive. I don't know. It's just something about the morning sun and the smell in the air. <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to go on my walk. Just got on like a jumper and then some shorts. Even though it's quite cold today, whenever you're in the sun, it's quite warm. And then when you're in the shade, it's freezing. So I'm gonna go for a walk, just listen to some music. And then I'll probably come back, have a shower and then maybe get stuck into some editing. We will see. All right guys, so it's now quarter to 6 p.m. I'm just about to finish editing this vlog and upload it for you guys. It is so cold. I just um, finished hanging out with Freya. She came around this afternoon and we just hung out a little bit. It is freezing right now. Um, what is the temperature? Um, 16 degrees. Feels much colder than that. I don't believe that at all. I'm gonna have some dinner soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope it wasn't too boring. I don't know. I always get insecure that my vlogs are boring. <laughs> I'm putting it out into the universe that I'm gonna have a productive and really good week. Uh, 
I've got quite a lot on. I've got like a few appointments and stuff. Um, and tomorrow morning, I'm meeting with my bookkeeper to sort out my tax and everything. So yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I shall see you in the next one.